We're cutting white oak on our double cut heartwood bandsaw mill this week. So buckle up, this ain't your granddaddy's whittling session. We got some serious sawmill action that'll make your sawdust fly. Let's go. Eight bucks an hour is what I'm worth. Putting shingles on houses that I can't afford. That's 64 for an eight hour day. Family of four can't live that way. We're cutting beans for a local railroad company. So now I'm working nights, parking cars at the club. These beams are 18 feet long, eight On by 10. On a tens. good night, I make 50 bucks. But I take it all home and I add it all up. Somehow an 80 hour week just stays in the Something about this math just don't add up. These timbers are going to be used for railroad crossing so that vehicles can get over the tracks. I'm working for a living. I'm working for a living. I'm working for a living and it's turning me cold. I'm working for a living. I'm working for a living I'm working for a living And it's turning me cold I'm gonna go get some pizza You're gonna what? I'm going to get some pizza Pizza, oh pizza I love you pizza What about your boss? I love you pizza Look at that little guy There's a bigger one over there. I'll be cleaning sawdust out of my eyes for days. While the sawmill is cutting custom workers, we have dedicated workers making pallets at the same time. My wife says, babe, we really need a vacation. But she don't know. That was white oak they were sawing out there and white the dust, dust everywhere from that. Oh. This is our edger. We use it to cut off the live edge. Live edge is a board that is cut directly from the log. And instead of trimming away the edges to make it straight, it keeps the natural curves and bumps of the tree's outer edge, sometimes including the bark. So it looks like the tree's live or natural edge is still there. Our edger has two circle saws that are adjusted and make quick work of live edge pieces. Cutting away the live edge to make the edge of the board straight. The log what? Kendall's got me checking the end of the log here to make sure there's no rot in the end of it. We want to make sure that our customers get high quality lumber. I don't see any rot or anything. This beam that we're putting back on the mill is the wrong size, so we're going to put it back on and cut it down to a 6x6 for another customer.
people take the fall for me. You, that's what happens. So that's why that's why you're the boss, so you can have other people take the fall for the stupid things you do. Yeah. Pretty much. Tony Deb brilliant, huh? Jeez. What well, happens when you rate the check? Click on this video to watch even more double cut sawmill action. And it shows you just how tough it is to run a sawmill, especially here in Minnesota. We're doing TikToks now, Kurt. You got to dance for the TikTok. I used to be a hell of a dancer until my legs got screwed up. A hell of a dancer, he says. You do the Irish jig? Yeah. <laughs> 